Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about the new armors and which armor is most suitable for you and whether you should upgrade or not from your Gion or Griars units because this is a very hot topic, a lot of people have been talking about this and asking me the same question, should I upgrade or should I just stick with my old armors? But first of all, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to get out of the way is my bias. Yes, I really like these new armors and I have invested heavily into these new armors. As you can see here, I have an Addy Capsule, I have Dital Soul 3, Gigas Might 3, Alt Secreta 3, and Dread Keeper 3, and I will be changing out Alt Secreta 3 for Death Might in order to get even more HP as well as damage resistance. However, that is going to have to wait since that will cost me 16 million Masetta just for that augment alone. Alright, with the disclaimer out of the way, let us talk about the new armors. So there are two sets of new armors, well, I mean, not really new, since the Vajif armor existed before, if you can see up here, it dropped in Ritem Al Noth. However, the new variants, so we've got the Arga, Belta, and the Shazazazazaza, these all drop in the high rank combat zones. So if you want Arga, you want to go to rank 3 of Labs, if you want Belta, you go rank 3 of Mount Magnus, and if you want the Shazazazaza, you want to go to rank 2 Resil Forest. So these armors are good if you are playing a hybrid build. So for example, the Arga armor is very good for Bravers if you use both weapons, simply because it gives you 1% melee potency and 1% range potency, as well as a decent amount of HP and a decent amount of PP, and the armor value is 69, very nice, when it is maxed out at plus 50. However, I know a lot of people don't like to focus on hybrid builds, most people like to focus on one specific weapon type. So if you're like me and you're playing a Katana Braver, then you might want to consider the Arnold Schwarzenegger... How do I say that again? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger armor over here, okay? Simply because it gives 2% melee potency as well as 1% damage resistance. Now, it does give more HP, but it does give less PP than the Vajif armor over here. So that is something you need to take in consideration. Do you value damage over PP? In my case, yes, I want more damage. And so if you are like me and you solely use one specific weapon type, for example, you only use melee weapons, you only use range weapons, or you only use tech weapons, then you can consider using the Arnold Schwarzenegger, how do I say that again? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger armor, because these armors are tailor-made for a specific weapon type. However, now we gotta talk about the age-old question of, hey, I have a Grius armor or I have a Gion armor maxed out, I've got it fully augmented at plus 50, should I upgrade to the Arnold Schwarzenegger armor or not? Well. In my personal opinion, if you are using the Grius armor, then it's probably not necessary to upgrade. And the reason is because the Grius armor actually gives you 72 defense versus the new armors which only give you 71. Sure, it's just one defense, but the main trade-off between the two is Grius armor will give you a lot more PP, plus 13 PP over here, and 2% all potency. So if you're using multi-weapons, then the Grius armor is going to treat you very, very well. However, of course, there is a huge downside of the elemental resistance, minus 50%, and if you have three Grius armors, that's minus 150%. So uh, yeah, any status ailment will screw you over really, really bad. But if you only care about offensive stats, then just stick with the Grius armor. Now, if you're like me and you're constantly making mistakes, getting slapped left and right all the time, then consider using the new armors because the new armors is a very balanced build. It gives you a lot of HP, a lot of damage resistance, and a decent amount of damage. The only downside to these new armors is you don't have a lot of photon power, so you are either going to need to compensate through your augments or change your playstyle, or maybe PP never even mattered in your specific playstyle. And that is the case with my playstyle. As a braver, I don't really run into PP issues very often, simply because I have PP conversion over here as well as Brave Combat which allows me to restore my PP very easily. But at the end of the day, all of the armors are good. 
What is most important is the armor should reflect and should augment your personal playstyle. If you like to build a little bit more defensive at the cost of some PP as well as some damage, then sure the new armors are fantastic. However, if you're the type of person that's always living on the edge, you want to push out as much damage as physically possible and you care about those huge numbers, then maybe think about sticking with your Grius armors. Or if you don't have a set of Grius armors, I'm sure there are a lot of people trying to sell their Grius armors or their Gion armors with Addy capsules on them for relatively cheap on the market, so you can probably snag a set for relatively cheap. Now you may have noticed that I didn't really talk about the Gion armors, and the reason is because the defense stat over here is relatively low, it's only 66 compared to your 72 of the Grius armor, however it's only minus 20 HP instead of the whopping minus 40 HP of the Grius armor. So that is another trade-off that you have to take into consideration, but keep in mind, as Thrift said in the podcast, if the next region that we're getting is going to be the snow region, that means that the freeze ailment is going to be very prominent there. So keep in mind that if you do buy a Gion armor or a Grius armor, that it is really just a stepping stone because in the next region, if it is the snow region, you are definitely going to need to upgrade again to another piece of armor because the minus ailments over here will get you killed. So in conclusion, all of the new armors are good, it really depends on your personal playstyle. As long as you're not rocking into Dark Falls with Golden Prim armors and a Golden Prim sword, you're gonna be fine. Now I know for a fact someone's gonna do that. If you do decide to do that, please record it and post it on YouTube. I would love to see someone actually clear Dark Falls with Prim armor and a Prim sword. Um, that would actually be really, really cool to watch. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel, it really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But anyway, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!